Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Virtual JV or the JV880 emulator on Windows. And first of all, I will give you some demonstration using the standalone version, but the procedure is more or less the same for the VST version. So first of all, let's try to launch the application for the first time. And whenever you launch your application on the first for the first time, you will be prompted with an error message saying that he needs the ROMs and you need to find the ROMs, you need to download the ROMs. I'm sorry, I cannot tell you how to get the ROMs. I've, I have already been banned for doing that, so I'm not going to do it anymore. So you are you are basically on your own on that. I'm very sorry about that. You see, we have an error here. There's an issue with the with the, with the UI, and they are basically say that you cannot, you cannot load the ROM. So you can click here and open the ROM folder, which is usually located in the app data roaming folder. So basically you can also get to that uh, folder by using this path which is the c folder then the user folder then your username then app data then roaming and then jv880 and so basically i need to copy everything into here so let's do that quickly And after everything is copied, you can close the application, of course, and launch the application again, and you will not get any error this time. So let's try to open the application again. And once the application is loaded, you see you don't have any more error, and all the ROMs are here, and all the expansion are here as well. So you can simply go to the option and specify the input and the out so let's me let me try to use my simply my windows speaker my computer speaker and enable my iri keys that i'm using for this laptop and so let's play something so this is the first preset the jv string which is a very nice string preset let's try to use some of the included expansion packs and the loops that are in there And that's it basically the procedure is the same for the vst version so you need to copy everything uh, all the roms under the same folder and then to launch the vst3 in your preferred do see you in a future video and if you want to look around please like and subscribe this video and i have many more videos about the virtual jv and all the different expansions so check around on this channel because you will find lots of different videos about that see you